So Wesley, you've been on Instagram for just over two years now. Uh, seems logical for us to start from the beginning. Um, can you remember what your first photo was? Obviously not that one, because I think I deleted some as well. So, so <laughs> obviously you started with a selfie. Uh, first of many, you made a very good start. Italian Open, Djokovic yeah, and Nadal so was with, nice. with the Lazio squad. Yeah. Um, what was that day like? Yeah, it was amazing. It's, uh, it's a really nice tournament in, uh, in Rome. So uh, we, uh, we all went together to, uh, to see. I think, was this the final? Yeah, no, it was not the final. It was Djokovic Nadal. It was a great game to see those, uh, those two legends. So uh, I'm a Nadal fan. So photos with legends always go down well. Um, here you are with Marislav Klose. What was it like to, to play, with, play with a guy like that who's achieved so much? In yeah, the he, was a, he was a great player. He was a, one of the best professionals I've ever seen. And uh, obviously a nice guy as well. So uh, I only played one year with him and then, uh, then he retired. But uh, no, great. Uh, Great guy, great player, and uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a nice year. Here you are at the Vatican City with your jersey. That's the Instagram dream, isn't it? The Vatican is one of the most beautiful places in the world, and uh, I uh, have had uh, the luck that I can uh, I have seen it. I guess Rome will be special for you in, in more ways, ways than one. Not only was it where your career really kicked off, but it's also where you started your family. It's the place where my, uh, my little girl was born, so uh, she will always remember, we will always remember still one of the most, even the most uh, special day in my, in my life. How has the move been for, for you and for them moving from Italy to England? Uh, different. Uh, we had a pool in, uh, in Italy <laughs> and uh, I don't think I can have one here in Winchester. It's too cold, but uh, no, my girlfriend lost it here in Winchester. She, uh, she finds it uh, uh, really like home, so uh, that's nice. And uh, my little girl is uh, under in the nursery now as well. So. Uh, uh, for sure she's enjoying it. Maybe she misses the pool, but she, uh, she, will, uh, she will be fine in England as well. Holidays, obviously, uh, babies, all really big hitters on Instagram for people generally. Uh, another thing you'd add to that list is dogs as well, obviously. Yeah, yeah they were in, La in, in Rome, they were in love with my dog, so... Uh, yeah, sometimes he was on the picture as well. Uh, but no, they loved him, so they were... Uh, Quite often uh, they wanted to see him on a picture as well. What's your dog called? Finn. You've achieved quite a lot with Lazio in, in just two years. What can you tell me about this picture here from the, from the semi-final of the Coppa Italia? Yeah, it was a derby, so that's really special. Uh, I don't think anyone know here how, uh, how special those, those games are until you play, you've played it. I think it's one of the biggest derbies in the world. We won those two games and we went uh, on to the final, so that was amazing. How does it feel to celebrate in front of Amazing, yeah. Fans Those like fans were amazing. Uh, I will always keep them uh, close, uh, close in my life, and uh, yes, I have had, like you said, uh, amazing moments in uh, in Rome, and uh, this moment was one of them, in uh, in which we uh, we uh, did uh, beat Roma to to went on to the final. I've won some silverware over there, so that would that's uh, something that you always will be will be remembered over there. Obviously that, that cup win was the last chapter of your story with Lazio, moving on here to your, your first steps with Southampton. What, was, what were your memories of that day? It was a new day in my life, a new chapter and it uh, was amazing. I, uh, I really enjoyed that, uh, that day and I'm proud to, to, to sign for Premier League club and uh, I still am. What was the feeling like for you in the days leading up to that? Because obviously you know that you're going to move, your life's going to change in quite a big way. Yeah, it was difficult in the beginning because they uh, didn't want to sell me, so it was not sure at all that, uh, that I, I would make the move. But uh, yeah, in the end, when I heard the final uh, decision was made and uh, the deal was done, I was happy. There's a bit of stick here from Manolo Gabbiadini. What did he say? Uh, just a little... Oh, in Italy, yeah. <laughs> no, it was nice, yeah. You... Uh, <laughs> Sometimes you, uh, you have to show uh, as well what you're doing uh, at the training ground, so uh, that's what, uh, what it was about, to, to show the fans uh, that we're working hard for points and uh, we all want to improve ourselves. Is there, is there a bit of a social media police in the dressing room if someone puts up something that not everyone approves yeah, of? Yeah, Shane Lang is really guilty. funny about that, he makes a lot of jokes. So, uh, no, but you know how that works. Uh, if, uh, if somebody puts up something funny, then uh, we all have a laugh about it and then we move on. Thing is though, it must have worked because not long after that, you were man of the match against Man United. Yeah, I don't know. I think that was a nice, uh, nice moment for me and for the squad. We, we did a good game and uh, yeah, it was obviously, obviously uh, special and uh, let's hope uh, we can have a, a lot of more of those moments.
We started with the first one, so we'll naturally finish with the last. Caption here is mood, standing in front of the supporters. What was what, what was your feeling at full time there? It felt like felt like there was a real connection between you and the supporters that day. No, I think it was it, it was um, important for us that we that we took the win. We we fought for it the whole game. So uh, yeah, then you can be happy in the end. But like I said in the beginning and in other interviews as well, that the most important thing now is to take as much points as, uh, as possible and to to keep on uh, going on uh, on winning ways.